smooth, dark chocolate, refreshing peppermint. Enter York Mode. Rich chocolate candy and creamy caramel. That's how you roll them. The team at Jacoby & Myers has gotten our clients up to 10 times the insurance company's original offer. Don't settle for less. Choose Jacoby & Myers. Holiday deals start at Ross. Yeah. With such small prices, yeah. you can go big on all the decor. We've got the savings you need to pull off any celebration at Ross. Yes for less. Watch Off the Clock, weekdays at 2 on KTLA 5. Now at five, flames erupt at a local home where authorities found a person dead inside and rushed another to the hospital. Plus, P-22 has been caught. Details on how local authorities tracked down and trapped the famous local wildcat. And the storm is moving out of the area, but leaving behind snow in our local mountains and dangerous conditions on our roads. We are live with details. Hope you had a nice weekend and good evening. You are watching the KTLA 5 News at 5. I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Pedro Vera. Thank you for joining us. Our big story tonight, Los Angeles Mayor Karen Bass declares a state of emergency on homelessness on her first full day in office. The declaration may help fast track efforts to find beds and homes for the 40,000 homeless people in L.A. KTLA 5 Sandra Mitchell is live at City Hall on the new mayor's plan. Sandy. No holding back on my watch. That's what the new mayor said today as she did fulfill this campaign promise of declaring that state of emergency. The question now, of course, is, is it going to work? I can tell you that just a few days ago, there were homeless tents here outside L.A. City Hall. They are gone now. But a political expert we talked with said Angelinos are going to have to be very patient if they expect to see real change. With a smile and a signature, L.A. Mayor Bass declared a state of emergency on homelessness. I will not accept a homelessness crisis that afflicts more than 40,000 Angelinos and affects every one of us. The declaration fulfills a campaign promise. It's telling everybody that she thinks that this is the important issue that we need to tackle. But it is more than symbolic. LMU law professor Jessica Levinson says it will allow the mayor to sidestep some regulations and get to work right away. It eliminates a lot of the procedural thresholds that are in place that make it sometimes more difficult to build affordable housing, to keep people in affordable housing, or to reach out to people. We've learned the mayor's plan will focus on several key areas, identifying city-owned buildings that can be used for housing and expediting the lease and purchase of hotels and apartment buildings to be used for the homeless. My mandate is to move Los Angeles in a new direction with an urgent and strategic approach to solving one of our city's toughest challenges and creating a brighter future for every Angelina. It appears the new mayor is already having an impact. In the days leading up to her inauguration, the homeless encampments near City Hall were cleared. Some of the homeless were moved to the L.A. Grand Hotel. Does it mean that immediately we will see a huge improvement in homelessness? But bigger changes to help the more than 40,000 homeless on the streets of L.A. will take much longer. No, I don't think that this will be a day or a week or even a month, but it could make a real difference over a course of months or a year. Mayor Bass says she plans, not hopes, but plans to have 17,000 homeless people off the streets of L.A. in her first year. We're live tonight outside City Hall. I'm Sandra Mitchell, KTLA 5 News. Sharon Pedro, back to you. Sandy, thank you. Most newly elected members, and for the first time, there will be six women. Fifteen member. Comers: Eunices Hernandez, Heather Hutt, Tracy Park, and Kitty.
seen its first female city attorney, Heidi Fel. and in custody at this hour, days after wildlife officials set out to capture the big cat. LA's most famous mountain lion was wanted for evaluation after what officials called signs of distress in recent weeks. This included close encounters with humans and small pets, including a deadly dog attack. The big cat was tracked to a backyard in Los Feliz, where he was sedated with a dart. An Orange County mother is dead after she was hit by a stray bullet fired in a drive-by shooting in Santa Ana. And now police, they are searching for the individuals involved. Police say 36-year-old Maria Del Rufio Mora was an innocent bystander and was walking out of a convenience store when the shooting happened back on December 4th. Here it is. She was rushed to the hospital in critical condition. Mora died from her injuries last Friday. The intended targets were those two teens you saw who ran away and were not injured. A GoFundMe account has been set up for the family. One person is dead and another is seriously injured after a house fire in Anaheim. It happened.